Pandas are a creature of fascination and adoration for millions of people around the world. But sustaining their population takes incredible collaboration across borders. Breeding pandas is challenging work, and here in Berlin, a world-leading expert in reproduction has built lasting ties with China to ensure the breed's success for years to come. Professor Thomas Hildebrandt leads the Department of Reproduction Management at the Lebines Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research in Berlin. Among the samples stored here, the placenta and umbilical cords from the first birth of twin baby giant pandas in Berlin in 2019. And these samples, they can live for 3,000 years in liquid nitrogen. So this has a huge value for research and for conservation. Professor Hildebrandt is the only European scientific advisor to the Chengdu research base of giant panda breeding in China and a previous winner of the Global Panda Personality of the Year. It's an award for people who are, are highly engaged in uh, the conservation of giant panda. And my specialty was the captive breeding with assisted reproduction. So I was awarded for that and that's quite an honor. Professor Hildebrandt was already world-renowned for his reproductive work with elephants, rhinos, and primates. His first trip to China was to work with primates more than 25 years ago, and a scientific friendship sprung up. I went in 2000 first time to Kunming very quickly that there's a really a mutual understanding between the Chinese scientist and me. We did a lot of development uh, to improve the breeding program, to understand more about the reproductive events in primates uh, using uh, ultrasound. That friendship grew not just over science, but through some unexpected fun. Often the Chinese came to Berlin, uh, joined me when I was um, skating the marathon, for example, uh, in Berlin. He was then invited to apply his expertise in reproduction with giant pandas. Pandas have a unique reproductive cycle, making breeding a challenge. The female has only one fertile period each year, lasting just 24 to 72 hours. The decision if a panda can mate naturally or by using reproductive techniques is taken with Chinese experts. We need a lot of skill to take care of pandas. Sorry. They always send the experts to, because people have not the knowledge, because yeah. that it's not a normal mammal. You need really uh, this Chinese knowledge how to take care of the pandas. Meng Meng, who gave birth to a pair of male pandas in 2019, was artificially inseminated after an unsuccessful attempt to breed naturally with her partner. She was monitored by non-invasive ultrasound, with some sweet treats while she patiently waited. In 2024, Meng Meng gave birth to the zoo's newest panda cubs, Meng Hao and Men Qian. A breakthrough in feeding came from the discovery Professor Hildebrandt made with his colleagues in China of high levels of stem cells in panda milk. When I go to China, I'm always impressed about the amount of technology, artificial intelligence, and but reproductive technologies combining with stem cell technology. That is a field which recently developed in China. And our Chinese experts are extremely good in bringing it further. In an increasingly divided world, Professor Hildebrandt sees science as a bridge to unity. Science is a very powerful tool to bring nations together and it is the only solution to solve the global problems we're focusing as an entire planet. It is such pleasure to work with uh, our Chinese colleagues uh, hand in hand. These panda science breakthroughs are not just philosophy or lab ideas, they are real. Every day the pandas in the Berlin Zoo are growing and a team makes Professor Hildebrand's work a reality. Dr. Florian Six is a curator at the Berlin Zoo and was there when the twins were born. We are very glad that they are here and that they are survived and that they grow up that well. So this is really a fantastic thing to see them when they are born. They are so small, only 150 grams, and then they grow that fast. Now they are eight months old and they weigh more than 14 kilograms. So everything goes that fast and this is really great to see how they are doing.
The crowds who gather to see Meng Hao and Meng Qian may not know the full story behind their birth, but they're witnessing the success of international cooperation. It's cute to see the twins. They are very, very adorable, yeah. Es war richtig süß. Ähm, die sind halt ähm, sehr, sehr süß. Die laufen sehr, sehr süß. Also die sind sehr, sehr süß einfach. Ich liebe die. Traumhaft sind die Kuscheltiere. Und man hat dieses Gefühl, dass man konnte mit auch kuscheln. Sie sind wunderbar, wirklich. I think the panda is an uh, incredible incarnation of uh, the Chinese uh, culture because yin and yang uh, and, uh, and uh, all what people believe is a little bit in the panda and uh, I think the, the Chinese nation has so much respect for this animal. Uh, I think it is not an ordinary animal living in the wild. It is a really a symbol for the Chinese nation and that uh, in, the, in our modern Time, it acts like an ambassador too. Building bridges between science and culture and the human and animal worlds, the friendship between Berlin and Chengdu is a model for future conservation partnerships to flourish.